Greetings everyone, it is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Al-Andalus. As we continue our glorious Crusader Th Kings 3 campaign here. With our uh, mighty emir, Yusuf ibn Mustafa. Okay, he's not that mighty, he's a bit... You know, he's a bit of a chicken, actually, but... You know, he's a smart guy. And that's what's really important. So, according to um, several comments, we should be improving our economy. And I don't see that as a bad idea. So, that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to improve our economy. I think we have enough territory grabs for now. So, unless there's something that's going to be very easy for us to take that won't screw up our succession, we should uh, focus more on consolidation once again. Now, one thing that I do want to look at... So, mm, see, this is a difficult kingdom to form, because um, we need a lot more territory. Actually, strictly speaking, we only need three more. So, hmm, how old are we? We're 44 years old. We're in fine health. Wait, what did that say? We're feeling fine, yeah, turning the human body. Okay. Technically, if we can take three territories and form another duchy, we could create the Kingdom of Andalusia. Don't find that as a bad idea, necessarily. Something to go for, right? Changing mind, Mustafa has been asking me for a toy boat for a long time, and I told him I would get him one. In three months, if he displayed a little bit more focus in his studies, he simply waved my offer away, saying he did not really care about that anymore. Alright, Mustafa, I see, uh, so he's the one that's part of the Holy Order. He needs to have a... You know, we're gonna make him content. That's going to be best for everyone. If he is content, because then he'll be content with his position in the Holy Order, and I think that'll make him a potent warrior, because he'll be able to devote himself entirely to Allah. And you know what? That's just going to be the best thing for everyone. Harsh judgment. Following the death of a thief, I asked my son Yusuf what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Indeed, just is good. We are a just family. Started with my father. You know, he may not have been able to, uh... You know, he was a conflicted man, right? He had, he had dark desires, dark intents, but ultimately... They were tempered by a sense of justice that prevented him from really acting on those dark intents. And then, you know, there was the gout and the, the incident with the bees, but we're not going to talk about that. Alright, let's see here. Hedekelt is always good. That'll get us more money. Yeah, let's go down Hedekelt for now. We're not going to go immediately into war. And our steward here, um, Hashim, is getting us some more money. Good on him. Accusations of witchcraft. Bloodstained cloth, crow's feathers, strange-smelling concoctions. This is evidence presented to me by a group of villagers from Yayan as proof that Mariam has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of their village. The villagers claim her evil works must be the cause of their bad weather and are calling for her execution. Look, I'm a learned man. I know that witchcraft doesn't cause bad weather, all right? The judgment of Allah that causes bad weather. Now let's let's see. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a chit chat with her, and we're gonna find that she is chaste, shy, and brave. She's a wise woman. As we speak to her, I think we can determine that she's not likely to be a witch. However, her knowledge is inevitably going to. Um, draw some ire upon her, particularly when it comes to uh, peasants who don't understand how things work, and you have somebody that does know how certain things work and can make things happen because they understand how it works, that can cause resentment because peasants are afraid of the unknown. So the evidence is circumstantial. We will release her. We will have this conversation with her. We'll see what she knows of the world. I do not believe her to be a witch at all. She disappeared without a trace. Weird. Um, well, hopefully she's still alive. I guess she vanished. Pedagogy, yes, good. Our uh, pedagogue traits are kicking in. Yusuf is uh, getting some more stats here. The magnanimous paragon. 
Good kid. Request divorce. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. My marriage to Sheikh Nadia is clearly not been blessed by Allah. Would you grant me a divorce? Sheikh Nadia, forty-nine. Uh, Sheikh Abdul, my brother here. He doesn't. He doesn't like her. Sheikh Nadia. All right, fine, fine. I will honor my brother's uh, wishes. He doesn't like this marriage. That's perfectly okay. All right, so he has a single marriage then. That's uh, a okay. Anything we can modify with his uh, vassal contract here? Could make him a Ghazi. Um, granted Ghazi status levies. Just give us all more. Okay, so being a Ghazi is um, the vassal is a chosen warrior of the faith by the liege, charged with carrying the borders outward through holy war. He's not the type. Look at him. He's a little snake. I'm not gonna make him a Ghazi. He's not the one to represent Allah. No. If anything, that's just gonna have to be me. I may be imperfect, but look at this. Receiving gifts. Abu Bakr of Tarifa. He doesn't like me very much, but he wants to pay me. What does he want to pay me for? Do you want a position in my council? Is that what's going on here? I could make you... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna make you a counselor. There you go. Now you get the position you wanted. As for my son... We're gonna have to give him a position. Of some kind. We're gonna make him a seneschal. He won't be great at the job, but he will he can get better at the job, and he might pick up some stats along the way while we're at it. Spouse, tourney day. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my fiery cheer as Emira Sadia announces that the tournament, or announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I got to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney day stuck in a throne, however. I too shall cheer my fiery. Yeah, we could do that. The day is in our honor, my dear. That would get us some prestige. I will cheer on my Fari, actually. It's in their honor. I'm not gonna besmirch that by taking the honor for myself. Um, let's see here. We keep, we keep him as our, uh, as our Seneschal, and hopefully that's gonna help him build up some skills of his own, because his, his skill set is not great. It's not great at all. Alright, we have a ton of money. And it's been requested that I build a city. Or a, uh, a church. Another mosque somewhere. So we already have a temple, so we would have to build a city here in Yayan. We could do, or we could build one here in um, Malacca. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> right we got shallow ore mines in Garanata. That's good. Right, you know what? We're building a city. We will build it on rock and roll. Which is not actually a great foundation to build a city on. I just want to point that out. Alright. What do we got going on here? Um, you know what? Let's upgrade our hunting grounds. It's going to get us more money. It's going to increase our levies. And it is also going to upgrade our light cavalry and our archers. Of which we, uh, I think we have both. Yeah, we got archers and we have light cavalry. All right, Suraya comes of age. All right, she has um, uh, not, yeah, not not the best. She tried, bless her, but but she's compassionate, shy, and arbitrary. Let's see if we can find her a uh, a marriage that will get us a capable alliance of some kind. So this would be the Taifa of Murcia. That's uh, I don't think that's worth it. He has claims on the Sheikhdom of al Bunt. Hmm. You have claims on the Taifa of Murcia and Balancia, huh? Okay. You know what? Maybe this isn't the worst idea. Or we could use her to bring in... Say, a... Uh, a knight. Age difference... Let's go with an age difference of 10 years. What's your, um, your prowess of 15? 
Not really worth it, honestly. Hmm. You know what? I wonder. Abola son? You may not be a very good knight. But we're gonna make him fight. We're definitely gonna make him fight. He needs to be a better fighter. As a warrior. You know? And you know, if he dies in the process, we might have a better heir. But that's not what our character's thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up with an in-character justification for this. Alright. Uh, my daughter, my daughter. So I'm not really impressed with potential knights. So we will go for alliance power. That's an option. Um, you have... Okay. Atalias. Where is this? Can we see this easily on the map? Where is this? Okay, that's that's right here. That could be interesting. You know what? Can we do this matrilineal? Absolutely not. Okay, well, getting getting claims through that, uh, I don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna work out for us. Um, hmm. But I think an alliance with that wouldn't necessarily be the worst plan. So we have an alliance with uh, Abdel Rahman of Batayaus. That is good. That is not my immediate direction for conquest. Whereas, oh look at this. He's my friend. God damn it. I would love to offer him vassalage. Oh, this is ripe for the picking, but he's my friend. I'm not going to invade the territory of my friend. Damn, that would have been a great opportunity, though. But, alas, we're role-playing here. Now, if something happens to him... Well, then we'll do what we do, but we're not going to make anything happen to him. He's a, he's, a, he's a good buddy of mine. All right, while I was at the market with Mustafa, his attention was caught um, by a criminal chained in the pillory. When the man begged for water, Mustafa immediately promised to bring it and soon returned from a nearby well, letting the criminal drink from his cupped hands. Without kindness, the world falls apart, indeed. Be kind. All right, he's a holy warrior, but just because he's a holy warrior doesn't mean that he can't be a compassionate man. And a just man. He is going to be a... I think he's going to be a, like a, a, you know, a crowning paragon of, you know, the justice of Allah. And that'll be, that'll be great. He will serve the order well. I think they chose a very good son of mine. For that task. I wish him all the best. Okay. We have been called into the Andalusian Mozarabic Uprising. So, my ally, uh... Muhammad ibn Muhammad of Saracusta. Against the populist uprising. You need my help against the populist uprising? Um, yeah, okay. Alright, I'll, I'll send the whole army. Fine. 1,800 men. We'll go get up there and, uh... Yeah, they don't have the men to deal with this, so I'm gonna go solve this for them. The Hawk of Quraysh. Quraysh, actually. Hey, it's the actual Abdal Rahman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shouldn't this be Quraysh, not uh, Quraysh? Could be wrong. Could be, uh, or maybe it's spelled differently depending on uh, which translation. Uh, I don't know. I'm reading the history of King Abdal Rahman of Andalusia, also known as the Hawk of Quraysh. Quraysh. I don't know. Learning about his life is incredibly inspiring. From his Abbasid escape to establishing the Umayyad dynasty in Iberia, I can't help but think I should take some of it to heart. Yeah, so, Carmona, I think, um... No, we're gonna take his, uh, his dealings with the Yemeni, because... Look here, I think Carmona was the battle where he defeated our grandfather. Uh, or, like, great-grandfather or something. Um, Yusuf, who our entire dynasty is named after. And that was not a, uh, while it was genius, I will admit that, it was not honorable. 
We're gonna take some diplomatic cues from him. I'm not my father. I don't hate the Hawk of Quraysh and his dynasty, so we've made peace with that. Um, so we have joined this war, yes indeed. Word of advice, I saunter between the market stalls of Granada, a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local jeweler, exquisite filigree, a sound investment, my steward Hashim suddenly appears at my side. Word of advice, my liege. Have a look at the mason's workshop over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. If I can invest in a jeweler's workshop for 35 gold, which will give me 5% monthly prestige and 10% holding taxes for 30 years. That's really good. Or we can invest in this, which is 75% chance of success to get piety and even... Okay, we're going to try this. I'm going to go with Hashim here. Awesome, it worked. All right, that's, that's going to be huge. Yusuf comes of age. All right. I was hoping good tutelage would be enough to teach Yusuf the intricacies of any kind of scholarships, but all our efforts have been for naught. Unfortunate. I thought he would be promising, but he's not. A shame. My daughter-in-law, Fashim, has given birth to a son. So she wants to name it Muhammad? I mean, that's as good a name as you're gonna get. We shall name him Muhammad, after the Prophet himself. All right, let's go, uh, let's go put these rebels down for our uh, allies here in Saracusta. Our allies have been a little bit inept militarily, so it's often been up to us to try and help them, but strictly speaking, it hasn't worked out. Yeah, we can't enforce the demands here, but this is all fine. We have won this war, and uh, let me tell you, uh, I can't, I can't recruit him, a shame. Well, we've won that war, and let's see here. We've won the war, um... Do we get anything? I don't get anything for this. Even though I, like, won it for him. That's a little annoying. Alright, we're gonna get detailed ledgers for more money from our cities, especially since we are building more cities. Or we're building a city, I should say. Here down in Malacca, four years left until it's completed. It will be a glorious thing. Nephew slain in battle. My nephew Muhammad was slain during the Battle of Arnedo. That's that is unfortunate. No, he's not of our. This is still of Saracusta. You guys get your shit together. Ooh, Leon's getting a little strong here. All right, the Forsaken Village. Oh, I just encountered the, for... the place. This place in Elden Ring, I think. All right, that's the Forsaken Land. No, the Forbidden Lands. God damn it. Never mind. Wrong thing. <laughs> the Forsaken Village. As I tour my Cosmar grounds, a peasant elder approaches me. Great Lord, please have mercy upon us and save our village from the tyranny of Emir Hither of Baya. He has neglected our settlement for far too long. The people yearn for a new ruler. They yearn for you, my Lord. Hither, huh? Of, of Galicia. No. Baya, here. I mean, that's... Uh, I'm sorry, but your people will have to help themselves. I... Alish Buna here? Where, where is this? I, I really wish it would show the uh, places a little bit more easily. Okay, that's here. That, that's way outside of what I'm going to... Uh, like, if this was right on my border, I would take it, but... I'm sorry, but your people will have to help themselves. Or we could even uh, have a look at this guy. He is He's compassionate, he is arrogant, and he is arbitrary. Okay. And this guy? Tent, cynic, calm. No. I don't know who's right here. Ah, alas. He has disappeared without a trace. Oh. I hope all the best for your people. But there's nothing I can do. Now what? Oh, this is our new ally. One of our new allies of uh, Placencia here. Abdul Hassan, he needs our assistance against, ooh, Tanya, and indeed against Baya directly. Well, this is gonna be a war. Let's move. We'll offer what assistance we can. We have many allies, but I am an honorable man. I will, I will protect my allies. 
We've made an alliance with them. I would expect them to do the same for me. Okay, our, uh... My son, Abdal Rahman, is uh, a little bit upset. But that's okay. Alright, I'm, I'm actually... Um, so because Yusuf is not capable, I am going to stop my son. I'm going to prevent him from being a knight here. Uh, we're going to forbid it. Alright, so the enemies are fighting each other, which is funny. Um, that's okay. I'll gladly let them fight each other. So we'll crush this army here. Okay, they've been destroyed. And then we're going to move down here, and we are going to crush the, uh... This is the army of Baia here. Lisboa and... Okay, the the, the Portuguese. Alright, we're, we're smashing them pretty good. I think we are going to win this war. For our allies here. All right, mental break. Dark thoughts. Guilt and shame have been plaguing me as of late. All of my sins, my flaws, my failings. These dark thoughts distract me from my responsibilities and keep me awake at night. What can we do? I could write my worries down. Yes, let's become a journaler. That's a great uh, stress-relieving trait, actually. And it makes total sense. I... We will journal all of the things that we have done. So that others in the future may learn what we have learned so that we can pass down the knowledge that we have gained through the grace of Allah. Alright, so. What's going on here? Why, uh... Can I besiege this? Yes, we will. It's gonna take ten months. Um... Why did we get no war score? Tanya. Where's he? Which one's Itania? That, that's Itania. Okay, that's where I need to go. Alright, so we're going to go up there. Okay. Okay, there's a bigger army there, um, but this should be fine. We're at least not suffering attrition anymore. So I will participate in this siege. We'll try and get as much of this war score going for us as possible. My sister has been taken prisoner. Akira and two others were captured by Prince Habil of Satfura during the siege of Madia. Alright, where is this? Oh, it's going all the way down here. That is unfortunate. There's not much I can do about it either. I just hope she, uh, hope she can get out without much trouble. All right. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're gonna be able to take this quickly. Hopefully, before they take um, what's this territory down here, Elvas. Elvas? No, this is Albash. Nisa. Why are there so many damn names here? Yeah, that's... that's Albash is the uh, territory here. But we have taken... This. Excellent. That's going to give us 100% war score. So, with that, we have a victory. And, because I have contributed 100% of the war score, I get 150 prestige, and our opinion with Abdul Hassan... Goes way up. Nice. We got ourselves a strong ally here. Well. He's losing a war. We could take Ispilia from him. We could make towards seizing Andalusia. We have enough territories, we can seize Andalusia and potentially invite the ruler, our friend, the ruler of Kotuba, into our realm. I like it. Now the question is, what is your, uh... He's Mu'aladi, we cannot use our holy order, but that's fine. Hopefully we can get into this war and win before whoever else they're fighting can achieve victory. So we'll take Isbilia here, and that'll get us a solid war score. Mustafa has come of age. Alright, unfortunately, he's also not very good. But you know what? Bless him. He tries. And overall, he's a good man, and I think he will still fit in with the Holy Order quite well. Maybe not as a warrior, but, you know, he can always help as a, as a scribe, as a... You know, somebody to aid in the logistics. There's plenty of things you can do. Alright, we've got more enemies that have joined this war. That is unfortunate. We can always hire mercenaries if need be. For now, I don't think it's necessary. We'll see what they uh, throw at us. I could 
split my army to go and counter them up here. That is a bit risky, so I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna hold this here. We're gonna we're gonna commit. If we lose Yayan here, that'll be a little bit annoying. They're gonna take that before we can. Ugh. Do I pull back? Do I hire mercenaries? Mercenaries are cheap as shit. Look at this. 24 gold. An archer band. The Andalusian band of, <laughs> from Isbilia. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know what? We're doing it. I'm hiring mercenaries. And then I'm going to break off force here. Okay. We are going to move the thousand men down to Granada. Okay, so this is pulling them away. Child of my dynasty. Thashim. Yeah, we can name him Thashim. I like the name. So these guys can connect with the mercenaries down there. And from there, I think we can deal with this army. So we actually, we drug them out. All right? Nice! My friend Hashim and I are getting along very well, which is causing me to lose 54 stress. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, we are no longer increasing control. So we do need to increase control again. Let's actually increase control down here in... Um, well, we want to do it in our territories first. So we'll do it up there because that will not take too long. And um, we have our big army here. Let's let's crush the, uh, the invaders here in Guadix. They, they would dare threaten my territories. Purchase truce to the thoughtful Emir Yusuf of Karanata. You and I should be friends, not foes. He is the Emir of Kurtuba. We're already friends. I'm not invading him. And he wants to pay me money for a truce? That's fine. We're gonna get Kurtuba in some other way. Or not. Won't, it won't happen now. If we can peacefully annex it, that's how we'll do it. And then we'll find another way how to uh, actually take Kurtuba for ourselves. Alright. That's going to be solid victory there. So now we just need to win this siege. Ah, excellent. My Chancellor has, uh, ingratiated me with, uh, Ismat Ibn Muhammad, or, uh, our possessed hash-smoking pal over here in Murcia. We've, we've had a long-standing good relation with him, overall. You might even call, call me a friend, huh? I mean... Are we already friends with him? No, we're not, but I can't befriend him. It's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Let's convene our forces here. We can make the siege go a little bit faster. Right. We have Ispilia. All we need to do now is take a territory up here. So I'm going to move up to Mura. And I think I'm going to drop half of my forces there. And then I'm going to move the other half here into Algarb. Right. And from there, I don't think they're going to be able to do a whole lot against me. And that should stop some attrition. It's not, actually. We're still suffering 1% attrition per month. But that's that's manageable. Okay, if they come back and try and retake Ispilia, I can move one of my uh, contingents down to go and deal with them. Yeah, all right. They're, they're, that's what they're trying to do. All right. Uh, as our order, the Mujahideen of Guadix, grow, we need more land from which to organize our defense of the Muladi faith. The Wilaya of Arcos is perfectly suited to our purpose. Arcos, huh? Where is this? Arcos is currently held by somebody else within my realm. Or we could give him Lorca, which is also held by somebody else. That is held by Sheikh Abdul's marshal. No, I will grant this request. You're going to give me 292 gold, which is an absolutely thick amount of money. And our holy order will grow stronger. I see absolutely nothing wrong with this. This is the best thing for everyone. Now, we have all this money. Uh, admittedly, I should save some so that we can upgrade our... Uh, or so that we can form another duchy and then form a kingdom once we have the territory necessary. For now, I think we can afford to get a little bit um, ambitious with some of our uh, economic buildings, because that has been a major request down here on our channel. So we will upgrade the small harbor here in Malacca. Lively livestock. Uh, so this is the herd event where we can invest in a small herd. It'll give us plus 10 development growth in Garnata for 15 years. 
plus 10%, or we can get a 78% chance to increase it, to double it, basically. So we're, of course, going to do that. And unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Sometimes you gamble. When you gamble, sometimes you lose. All right, um, we're about to take this, so I'm going to move this army back and prevent them from retaking Isbilia. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. Fortunately, I wasn't paying attention. Under the stone pine, in the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on flutes, on lutes and flutes. They sing in Arabic about beauty, glory, love lost and found again. Uh, I've seen this event before. Um, my love for Sadia fills my heart with song. I would gain the trait poet. Oh, of course. I'll be a poet. We are a patron of the arts, we are a patron of knowledge. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Ah, my friend Abdul Latif died. Abdul Latif of Kurtuba has died. Alright. Well, we know what's gonna happen. This is how it is. We need to reconvene here and amass our forces. We have one. We don't need to continue this, actually. So, I will take Isbilia. Wonderful. We can disband the armies. We can mint new coinage. Uh, we can mint silver coins to facilitate trade. Be good. Plus 5% development growth for... Uh, Every county in the Taifa of Granata, or we can mint it with my own visage for some more prestige. We can debase the nickel, that'll give us more money. Let's try this. You know? Sometimes you gamble, sometimes you win, right? Let's see if we can debase this coinage. Excellent. Excellent. Seems to have worked. No one will notice. And we will get war profits here, because. You know, going down that road anyways. All right. I like it. We can found another holy order. No, it's not yet. Not yet. We need our money. But uh, Kurtuba here has no alliances. And um, I feel like now is as good a chance as any. We're going to take Kurtuba. You know, we may be a coward, but these are weak enemies, and Al-Andalus Al must be unified against the growing Christian threat. Oh boy, they hired mercenaries. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Shit! Escaped. My what? <laughs> Alright, stop. Pause it. God damn it. I already pressed the uh, pause button, but it didn't matter. Bah! Shouts Dinia directly into my ear. My eyes open reluctantly, one at a time. That's one way to wake up, I suppose. The small child next to my bed is positively vibrating with excitement, clutching mittens and an expensive wooden platter. It's snowing outside and I want to go sledding. Will you take me? Alright, come on, let's get a tray from the kitchen. Um... Yeah. Yeah. My daughter? We'll, we'll go. We'll go play with our daughter in the snow. Okay, quickly... Uh, our mercenaries are already hired. Now, question is, you're Mu'aladi. Yeah, we can't do much with you. Ooh, see, the mercenaries are now getting kind of expensive here. Which is uh, a bit of a problem. But I'm going to need them if I'm going to win this, so... Hire up another band. Our army will retreat. We can reconvene. Oh, Abdal Rahman has been taken prisoner. And he's been... Oh, no, he's been uh, wounded. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay. We can still win this. We can still win this. Now, I don't want to attack from here because there's going to be a crossing. So I'd rather attack from up here. Or hopefully... So this is a battle that we don't know who is going to win. We raise more men, two more. It's not much, but hey, it's two knights. So let's let's throw them in. That should give us a little bit of an advantage. And then from there we can move to Pedroche, and from Pedroche we can move into Kurtuba itself. Now they're just going to hold Kurtuba, which is going to give them some defensive um, advantages. But since we're approaching from the north, we don't have to deal with the bridge crossing. We should win this, even though it's going to be a brutal war. We could call in allies, but I'd rather not. Salma comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Salma the intricacy. So, oh no. She unfortunately has, uh, 
which is not the best looking. Um, we're gonna just get her married to a uh, a knight, somebody of low of low status. Um, let's see, Berkan here. He's got a prowess of fifteen. We'll we'll bring him in. That's fine. We've won this battle. Excellent. And from there, we should be able to win this siege easily enough. Outliving my rival. Alright, when my jailer brought the joyous news, I could scarcely believe it. My rival, Musa, has perished in my dungeon. Oh, he's, uh, not looking too good. Dear lord. It's only nine. Why is that my rival? Speaking of, who's in my dungeon? I have six prisoners. I should, uh, see about releasing some of them. Alright, Balashk here. You can go. You, you, sir, are joining my court, Masiege. Dear Lord, look at him. What is this? He's a sodomite, but you know what? We don't care. Uh, our religion doesn't care either. You're joining my court, sir. And, um, you know, as good as she is, Siege here is going to be excellent at the job. We're going to appoint him instead of Selma. That is a... Yeah, what, what about... You're, you have good aptitude, Malika? But Masiege will be an even better court tutor. Doing this will cost 200. Yeah. 200 uh, prestige. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. Look at him. Dear Lord. Any children that we can have him uh, educate? There's Muhammad here. Uh, Muhammad is going down diplomacy. But who is educating him, actually? Guardian. I, I should do that myself. I can give him some extra stat points. Um, let's see here. Remove Guardian. Yeah, I will uh, educate you myself. So we have the perk that gives them more stat points. All right. Nice. Cool, cool. Constructed a village center in Energia. Uh, is it here? Alright, city is completed. Wonderful. Uh, what should we build here? Trade port, of course. Got the money for it, let's do it. Alright, we should take Kurtuba quickly enough. I don't think they're going to be able to uh, contest me back. If they do send a large enough army to... Uh... Eh. I mean, that's concerning, but that isn't my army. Or that isn't necessarily concerned with me. In fact, they're fighting my enemies, so that's that's perfect. You guys, you guys go have fun. My acquaintance Manu has died in my dungeon. God damn it! Why are all these people dying in my dungeons? This is a child. For Ten gold, I'll ransom you. No problem. Murad here. Same deal. Fifty gold. Yeah, give me that. Asia. Ten gold. No problem. Nabad, are you a warrior? Are you a knight? No. Um. We, uh, we'll let him go. Alright, everybody out of our dungeons. That's enough people dying in my dungeons. Let's see here. We have won this war. Let's do it. Enforce demands. I control Kurtuba. Delightful. Look at that. Ah, I see. So he is still technically a vassal under my control. Now... I cannot revoke him. Because I have truce. We're going to have to take this from him, because Kurtuba is very important for us. Alright, we are... I should not have disbanded my army, because we are still apparently in a war. Why are we still in a war? Alakosian clash against the Sheikhdom of Kurtuba. But I control Kurtuba. There's another war that just started. Alright, well, let's get our armies going. Uh, it'll take them a little bit of time to muster, unfortunately. Because we foolishly disbanded them, but we should be okay. That is a bit concerning, so I'm going to move my second army down here. Wait, who's who's fighting who? I'm the defender. Okay, so... Sheikh Mohammed of Alarcos is attacking me to try and... Ah, alright. This was the other uh, 
So he was at war with Kirktuba before. That's what was happening. And um, because we won, now he's at war with us. Because he, he wants Kirktuba regardless of how this goes. Okay, you're going to move your force there. I think if we divide our army up into two, it should minimize the attrition a little. You have a commander, and you have a commander. Should be good. Okay, let's move up here. Actually, let's move... Let me sneak around. And then these guys can just wait here for a minute. And hopefully we can pincer them. Before they can take Jaen. Jaen. Okay. We should have the pincer... Going just fine. Hopefully this works. All right, and we have a mercenary contract expiring in 29 days. Well, let's hope that uh, we can win this battle before then. Yeah, seems like it's going well for us. A reinforcement army was effective, and we have defeated them. So, right now, they've basically attacked from Alarcos. Let's take Alarcos while we're at it. We can crush another little army right here. And then I want to divide and take Malagon. Or, no, we'll, we'll take uh, Calatrava here. Ah, right, never mind. We took their leader hostage, Sheikh Mohammed of Alarcos. He, uh, he's attacked me. Now, we'll offer peace. This is fine. We don't need to execute him. We'll enforce our demands here. Wonderful. Now we can disband the armies. And we control Kirtuba. And we don't control it directly, so we're going to need to wait a little bit until the, the truce is done. And then from there, so this guy is our prisoner. He is, uh, I don't know, he's, he's not a very capable man. We'll sell him for 30 gold. That should be fine. And uh, can we create any, uh, yeah, we can create the Duchy of Seville. Let's do it. Nice. I now control two emirates, and we can negotiate an alliance with Wali Yusuf Ibn Zakaria of Makeda. Why not? He's, our, he's of our blood. In the band, payments from my son. We will not do that. <laughs> okay, we have... Our control situation is probably quite bad. Mind you. So, we should be working on re-establishing control. So, let's re-establish control here in Capra. It should only take 20 months, because our uh, marshal here, Milad Anwarid, is an absolute unit. So, he'll be good at his job. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. What do, what more do we need in order to um, take the kingdom here of uh, Andalusia? We need one more county. Is it, is it going to be Alarcos? He has a lot of allies, so that is a bit concerning. I don't think we can attack Labla here, because Labla, I believe, is going to be part of the... No, it is part of the Kingdom of Andalusia, so it could be you guys. You're winning a war. I need to do this all quickly, you know, because we need this kingdom. I could conquer them. For 50 piety. A lot of rapid expansion. This is just how it has to be. It's dangerous, but we need to move fast. We need to move quickly and ensure that this happens, because otherwise it's going to completely divide our nation. A bit risky, all this uh, quick expansion, but this must be. A new identity. My people, the Andalusians are a proud and widespread people. However similar we are, I cannot deny that my subjects have started to act differently from Andalusians elsewhere. Sometimes there's even conflict between visiting Andalusian groups and those under my rule. We are developing a new identity. We are Andalusian, but at the same time, we are not. Perhaps this development should be encouraged. So, we can become a divergent culture. Huh. That could be interesting. What would it be? What would they name it? We'll build a new, stronger identity. You know what? Why not? The Garnata Divergence. Small changes in dialect, slightly different customs. 
It was easy to miss at first. Over time, small changes led to large ones, however, and now the Andalusians living in Garnata have begun to identify themselves as Garnata instead. Faced with mounting pressures from both the wilderness and their rivals, the Garnata Andalusians have bec are becoming increasingly warlike as they seek to make and protect their livelihoods by force of arms. With the Garnata people looking for, to me for guidance, it is time to set the stage for our shared future. All right. So what do we get? Um, let's look at this for a moment. Um, so we are bellicose. That makes sense. We've been doing a lot of warring here. Garnata aesthetics. And practices. Andalusian. Okay. All right. We have our own. Um, so we have malleable subjects. Um, vassals of this culture do not consider differing faith or culture when joining factions. Vassals of this culture will often learn the language of their lead. Harder to promote culture in counties of this culture unless you share a heritage. Easier to promote culture in counties of this culture if you share a heritage. Okay, unless you share a heritage over here. All right, more likely to attract wandering knights. Available mercenary companies, plus 200%. Cultural acceptance gain, plus 25%. Quite good. Mercenary higher cost, minus 50%. That's really good. Holy shit. Uh, divergent culture opinion, plus 10. No negative opinion of other cultures. Yes, that's also awesome. Holy crap. We're going to be a multicultural nation. I love it. Vassal levy contribution plus 25%. That's actually really good. All right, we've got uh, ritualized friendship again. So everyone has access to the befriend scheme. May ask friends to become best friends. Best friends receive strong hooks on each other, but gain stress when using them. Best friends can use an interaction to gain bonus skills via modifiers at the expense of extra stress. Okay. Tabletop warriors. So we like Warhammer. Um, sorry, chess. <laughs> Commanders are more likely to uh, gain commander traits. May always challenge other characters to board games. Yeah, okay, it's this. Uh, all Garnata characters, we gain plus two martial, but minus two prowess. Plus 10% movement speed. And we have culinary artists, which makes sense. Like, I don't know if you've had food in southern Spain, uh, particularly the cuisine that's, like, heavily influenced by the Middle Eastern cuisine, but dear lord. Fucking good. Um, successful feast activities cost more prestige, um, or give more prestige, and give more renown. Characters of this culture perform better when appointed to the food taster court position. And then we have maritime mercantilism. The trade port line of buildings can be constructed one era early. I mean, we already had that. Coastal buildings in this county, or in counties of this culture, provide an additional 10% tax. And better Republican vassal opinion. All that sounds great. Can we reform? Can we grab? Like we have 2,000. Nah, we, we generally need like 4,000 prestige to get any of the good ones, right? Or even more, 7,000 for a lot of these. I don't think it's going to be worth it to grab any. So see, Winter Warriors makes no sense for us. I really like the cultural reform system. That was a very nice add, I must say. Okay, so we keep these, which is nice. We're still aiming for Caballeros, though technically we can already go to Tier 2. Which is very cool. So I think we should... And what do we need to get the ducal buildings? Because that is what I really want. Um, like, military academies could be really good. Jousting grounds could be really good. And tax offices is obviously nice. Um, that requires manorialism, but say if we got the military academies, that requ would require the burrs. We could go to burrs. That's up here. Why not? Let's, let's do it. Alright. So, that, that happened. That was pretty cool. Okay. There's a, a large army now. So we need to be careful. I don't want to lose. We should crush them right here if we can. Yes. We caught, we caught 2,000 of them out. We should win that. Pretty easily. And then we can move down and crush this 930 strong army. Alright. One of our Fari has wounded an enemy Fari. That's always good. It's a shame that we have to be fighting our fellow Muslims here when the Christian threat looms, but you know what? Al Andalus must be unified. Where are you going? Alright, we've caught them. Okay, we have crushed their army and we've taken an important character hostage. So that's going to give us big war score. So I think defeating this other army should grant us victory. I don't even know if we need to take Labla, which would be good. My heir is unmarried. Yeah, let's let's sort that out before anything else happens here. Um, preferably somebody with uh, with traits. 
uh, we can look for that up here. Maze? Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Inheritable. Somebody with good stats and good traits. Or a good trait, at least. So she's intelligent. Khadija bint Nasir. It's a bit older. Fine, whereas she's a bit younger. 19 years old, but they just, they don't have very good stats. It's a little bit of a problem. Okay. We'll just look at all here. See, see what... Like, she's got good stats. We'll take her. We'll lose a bit of prestige, but I want him to have a good wife that can complement his skills, because he's going to need all the help he can get. Gladly accept your marriage proposal. Yes, excellent. Speaking of which, um, who are my friends here? I've got a lot of friends. Um, I'm going to turn... Swear an oath of true friendship. Yeah, you know what? Let's become best friends. With my, uh, with my wife here. My, uh, is this my... Uh... Oh. Who is she? It's my sister. Yeah. I'll be best friends with my sister. Sorry, not wife. That's not a great thing to uh, mistake. <laughs> Alright, Muhammad comes of age. Alright, uh, it's all for naught. Yeah, our, our children are a little bit lackluster. What can you do? Alright, Sama accepts enthusiastically. Wonderful. We've gained the best friend hook on her. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Who else can we be, be best friends with? Luis here, our spy master, has been a great friend to us, as has Hashim. You cannot swear an oath of true friendship. You already have a best friend. Alright, makes sense. Um, yeah. We should at least befriend our second wife, maybe? Let's do that. 91% chance of success. Seems like a good call. Alright, we have 72% war score. I guess we're gonna have to take Labla anyways, so let's do that. And from there, we should be able to form the Kingdom of Andalusia and get our succession ready. We should be able to help along my attempt to befriend Emira Malika by presenting her with a gift. We could spend this to get a... F you know, we'll get a cheap gift, right? We need our money. Or we don't need to come across as too strong. I'm a patient man. Buying your way into friendship, you know... That in and of itself feels cheap. Alright. Kind of not paying attention to this right now. Don't worry, I will once I have... You know, we're in the hostility phase anyway, so... There's not much that we can do to influence what's happening, because it's just going to move forward towards the uh, the next phase. Alright. Um, I have no... Yeah, I, I have no uh, dread. And I'm probably not going to get Dread at any point. So, we're going to get Taxman for now. I'm not going to go all the way down one of these. Uh, mercenary Contract expiring. That's fine. I think we, we got this war regardless of how this goes. Let's let's beat this army here. Our uh, main force. And leave a small force down there to uh, continue sieging. I don't want them to take uh, Kurtuba here. Where are you guys going? Trying to run? Yeah, not going to happen. All right, we have taken their leader hostage. I will enforce my demands, and we will take Labla. Wonderful. All is mine. Okay. Well. Now we can create the kingdom of Al-Andalus. Andalusia, I should say. It is done. The Al-Andalus Court. As Malik, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Wali Abu Bakr of Tarifa is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Yusufid. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your realm is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to... Are you still going forward? No. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them all see their new Malik. Yes, we will hold court. Oh, that looks awesome. 
Wow, yeah, this looks really cool. You've gained the patronage of the Mujahideen of the Gwadi Order. Wonderful, as one would expect. Damn, it's got a really cool aesthetic, actually. Um, we've got some artifacts that we can hang up, so first things first. We've got the Yusufid banner, which we're going to hang right here. Look at that. Beautiful. And um, we've got this other Yusufid house banner. Wonderful. We'll put that there, too. That's going to be uh, two artifacts here that's going to uh, help us. And um, our court grandeur is kind of crap. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We should at least get some modest food. Like, come on. The region we're in is renowned for its excellent food. So we're going to we're going to upgrade that. Very few servants. We'll get a few more servants. Mm, actually, let's let's actually look and see what are the better options here. Uh, guests can stay longer or we can do better fashion. Oh, this would upgrade all three of those. You know what? Fine. We'll do it. It'll cost us a little. But uh let's get everything going. We can increase our uh, court grandeur. And um oops. We need to actually hold court here in just a second. Terracotta Toy Fowl is uh, of low durability. That's fine. I don't really care about it. Um, you fiery. Yeah, we need more fiery, don't we? Well, guys, we have founded a kingdom. All in one episode. We seized three territories. We've taken Cortuba. Now, this isn't our capital yet. Because we're going to need to revoke his title... We cannot do until he has a uh, truce. <laughs> we can't accuse him of violating fashion laws, which would be great. Um, yeah, he doesn't like us, so he's gonna be a bit dangerous for the time being. But we'll sort that out in due course. For now, let's hold court. Our very first time. Uh, it's been a little while since I've looked at the uh, royal court, so we need to check and see where exactly that is on the screen. And we are, of course, going to change how our character looks. Oh, that's here. Well, court. Let's hold court. See what happens. In order to be a successful ruler, I must actually rule on the various dilemmas and situations which arise within my sphere of influence. By officially inviting all of my subjects to travel to my castle and petition me for aid, I will be able to stay informed, sway the balance of power, and visibly show the world that I am in charge. Let's go. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people flood in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so that they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lining up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call upon them. I will gesture for the first in line to approach. Amid all of the supplicants, Ali, who I thought was a prisoner in house arrest, somehow appears before my throne. My lord, surely the food served to me in my prison room is of far worse standards than what you would serve to a respected guest. Or is this truly the best your cooks can do? I should like it. veal cutlets for my dinner from now on. Tibalt, my fari, runs into the room, panting. My apologies, my lord. I was guarding him, but he was so charming. He duped me into letting him out. Ah, Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Cook him the finest meal. I'm impressed by your guile. And let me tell you. Let me tell you, pal. I'm going to recruit him. He's a good knight. Join me. My friend, you may be released from your prison. <laughs> oh, man. All right. A thin, raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne. Obviously distracted, I call to him to get his attention. Oh, sorry, my lord. I, uh, my village in Granata was hit by blight this year. We lost not only our crop, but our seed, too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. Glancing around my throne room again, he adds, Surely you have wealth to spare. So we can establish a crop-sharing system with the neighboring... That would increase development growth by 5% for 10 years and increase our popular opinion. That could be good. You'll have the funds you need to rebuild. No, that's okay. Or your service will repay your debt. Gain this. Or will repay your debt. That could be good. Laborers in this county are repaying their liege's generosity with toil and sweat. The building construction time, minus 20%. That's really good. Your fields are barren. You shall wield a sword. No, we're not going to do that. You know what? We're going to do this. 
We're gonna, yeah, we'll help him. Um, but they're going to repay us with labor. I believe that is a fair trade. They get, you know, they get to live. And in turn, they will help us build the realm better. My brother, Sheikh Abdul, smirks before stepping forward to voice his petition. Brother, I seek your aid in combating the issue of the lack of sheriffs in al Ghazira al-Hadra. He pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. I ask for any that you might spare. If I could give him some gold. My steward can offer him advice. Um, Hashim gains advising. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to mess up Hashim. You're at fault for being so incompetent. Sort this mess out yourself. Or my son-in-law, Berkan, would make for a better steward. So we could put, um... Hmm. Ali Bilal of Lorca. I'm not just going to give him gold. I'm not going to force my steward to help him. So, let's see here. My son-in-law, Berkan, huh? This is stewardship. His stewardship is nine. Whereas your previous stewardship is six. So, technically, he would be better. All right, fine. We'll do that. All right. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain talking among themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon, the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of the court of courtly life taking its place. My business here is done. Alright, my glory is widely known. Alright, he has accepted release. He is now a knight of mine. Excellent. And we're going to find him a, uh, a wife, preferably with some, uh, with some traits, actually. Hmm. No available traits. Alright then, well. Uh, all, please. And some with good stats. Something. Yeah, you, know, you have decent stats. Why don't you marry her? Alright. Allah bless your union. Wonderful. Um, let's see here. What else are we gonna do? Now that we control Al Andalus. We should. But we have uh, a situation here. The gallant Fari. My Fari Folko ha has excelled during our recent battles, and my court is buzzing with excitement. What an accomplished Fari. What a model. What a role model. What a man. <laughs> with all praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I'm expected to officially reward him in some manner. I could speak well of him, but that's that's pretty lame. We could give him the sheikdom of Malaka, but let's not do that. Or we could gift him some gold. Or we make him our pers or my personal champion. You know what? Look at his fucking stats. We're gonna make him my personal champion. Sounds good to me. He's a Catholic, but you know what? That's fine. That was 100% okay. And, um... You know what? I am, uh... The work detailing their incompetence? <laughs> uh, no. I will, uh... Write a poem about him, actually. Since he's been so instrumental in our recent battles. Nah, there's a high chance that it'll be mocked. Maybe we won't do that. This is fine. We will find him a wife. We will marry her. Saida. It'll be a good show to the local Catholics under our rule that we have him be married to one of the actual uh, Muhammad's lineage. Our religions will live in harmony and peace. Oh, we have another event immediately. All right. <laughs> Courtier scorned. Why would you honor that turtle Fulco with the position at your court and not me? My Alaman Ayub is livid. Apparently he'd been certain the honor would fall to him. Mate, you have a prowess of six. Get over yourself. Yeah, come off it. Alright, guys. We have a faction created against us. This is to be expected. There's a military power faction with uh, Muyad of Isbilia leading it. He's not happy. And we have a lower crown authority faction that has been created by Abdul Razak of Kurtuba. In fact, I am going to let this faction gain a little bit of strength. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, if they rebel against me, that's going to be for the best. Because then I can freely revoke him without incurring any tyranny. Alright, uh, he wants to release Abdul Rahman. That is my uh, son. 50 gold. Yep, alright, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. 
we have to. Alright, this little snake had my son captive. Your friend, knowledge within grasp, Malika Malika and I have little in common, which has made it difficult to communicate with her. However, with some effort, I can teach myself enough to carry a conversation on the power or on the power inherent in secrets. All manner of secrets. Yeah, we'll do that. See if we can study some uh, interest to better befriend her. Okay. We are almost ready to end the episode, but I want to ensure that there's a couple of things that we get. We need a Chief Kadi, right? And let's see here. You know what? We're going to make our friend here, Yusuf ibn Yusuf, our Chief Kadi. I think there's actually... Okay, the Chief Kadi is the ultimate judge of the realm, responsible for applying Islamic law in various disputes and legal matters. Yeah, I mean... Oh, he is Mu'aladi. He's Polish. He'd be better at the job, but no. I'm going to split the positions up a little. So we're going to do this. I'm going to appoint him there as our Chief Kadi. We are going to need an Antiquarian. I think we can make our son here, our antiquarian as well. Uh, and we definitely want a master of the horse, and potentially a high almoner too. Abdul Rahman is my high almoner, maybe? 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 Yeah. Can we do that? Why not? He's possessed. Never mind. That sounds like a bad idea. Um, Tibalt. Tibalt's here. Why don't you be our high almoner? Again, a little bit of show of solidarity with the Catholics. And our master of horse. Not him. He's a jerk. Abdul ibn Mustafa ibn Nazir. My brother here. We could make him our master of horse. Yeah. I like that. We'll increase our knight effectiveness a little bit. And I think that's going to be good enough for now. All right. Another faction created against me? No, it's just these two. Alright, guys. Well, this is where we're going to end today's episode, and I do say this was a productive episode. We now control the kingdom of Al-Andalus. I didn't really expect that to happen in his realm, but you know what? He decided to, uh, to roll the dice. He saw the weakness around him, and um, he made a couple of intelligent power plays, and it's really shaping up that Malik Yusuf here is honoring the Yusufid line by being an exceptional ruler. You know, he, he, he didn't even start off particularly well educated, but the man put his mind to it, and look at what he's accomplished. Hopefully his son will be able to uh, continue that, though I have my doubts. <laughs> Alright everyone. Leave it a like if you've enjoyed this, and thank you once again to everybody that has been commenting. All the comments have been very supportive and uh, helpful, particularly for uh, guiding the course of this campaign. Worry not, we will be focusing on the economy. I didn't do all that much here, but, you know, I saw an opportunity that I needed to take, and <laughs> it has been taken. But for now, we will actually do some consolidation in the next episode, so fear not. We have the kingdom. We can consolidate without worrying about things fracturing. So... We will do that in the next episode. We will build up a mighty economy. It's already looking pretty good, but it could definitely be better. All right, everyone. Catch you all in the next one. Ash Herder out. <laughs>